Hi, this is uh, Kirk Kasanowski. Welcome back to my uh, blog and my weekly post. Uh, today I'd like to talk about what you can learn and how to go about doing relationship mapping. And I'll talk about that in, in a minute, exactly what that is. Uh, when you're working a large hospital uh, or health system, it can be very complex and there are tons of people that can make both direct and indirect referrals to you. Understanding uh, who those folks are and how to go about cultivating those relationships is critical. Um, everybody works the middle. In other words, social workers, discharge planners, case managers, everybody attacks them. Home care companies, hospice companies, uh, LTAC representatives. And we sort of, sort of have polluted the pool in the sense of closing down those referral sources to be as open as they used to be in the past. What I'd like to submit to you is that there are a lot of other people in the hospital organization that can be allies in terms of helping advocate for your uh, ability to serve patients. Uh, below is some forms and some specific information about how to go about doing a relationship mapping project. So you ask, what is, a relationship, what is relationship mapping? That is where you sit down and identify specifically key individuals in the hospital, and those key individuals are listed below. There's about 25 to 30 what I call key hospital customers. Go about a process to identify exactly what type of relationship you currently have with them. So you can go about then cultivating that relationship over time to help work uh, and advance both uh, your mission and business objectives as well as their own. And the power of this is being one more organized uh, in terms of how you go about working a uh, complex hospital system. As I indicated, hospitals are like little mini cities and understanding all those key relationships are critical. So what I'd uh, uh, encourage you to do is give some thought to looking about, if you're really serious about working in your hospital, if you're very, very serious about providing good care and also penetrating that hospital, it's important you understand all the key relationships that exist and what type of relationship you currently have with those uh, key individuals in, in the hospital. So as I indicated, below is a, a specific relationship mapping form and a process to go about how looking at uh, completing that exercise. And also a, a sort of an initial list to begin with to look at uh, focusing on those folks that are, are, are important uh, for you from both a business perspective as well as a quality care perspective. So I hope you have fun with relationship mapping and with that I'll say goodbye and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.